Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and as you can see we are starting with a physique update of Samson Daura who is 6 weeks out of the Arnold Classic We're gonna check out this video, we got all of the mandatory poses right here but check out the front double bicep first and pay attention to conditioning at 6 weeks out, I don't remember Samson ever being this shredded at this many weeks out and honestly, I don't see a big difference in his conditioning right now and on the Mr. Olympia stage I don't think it's much different, I mean, I know how crazy it sounds, he has 6 more weeks to go but I mean, yeah, he competed until recently, you know, he did Romania and Prague Pro so really, he didn't have time to gain fat he got a little bit watery, but now when he's dieting again for the Arnold, he got rid of all that water and now he looks nice and dry again and as you can see the conditioning is right where it was, he didn't gain basically any fat really but also I know how crazy it sounds, but I think I see improvements on his physique right here in this pose I think his biceps are looking bigger, pickier I think his lats are popping more, I think his wee taper, his axe frame in this photo, in this pose, is looking better than before And as you can see, he is pulling a vacuum here, which is something he usually does in the front double He always sucks the stomach in, but I think here, it looks like a deeper vacuum So I think his vacuum has gotten deeper, and it made his waistline look smaller And that's why his axe frame is looking better, his wee taper is better and I think he made some improvements in his biceps I don't know how, when, but I think his biceps are looking better, more peaky Now as he transitions to other poses, you can see the conditioning basically everywhere Here you can see it in the chest I don't remember his chest being this shredded at 6 weeks out Here you can see the glutes So from the side, glutes are looking basically as lean as they are on stage Maybe a little bit off, but definitely not his usual 6 weeks out conditioning the back, he definitely significantly improved it over the past 2 or 3 years and I think this time around, if he picks just right, if he is the most conditioned ever and with a little bit more muscle, which I believe he can actually do I believe he will make progress between these shows, even though it's such a short time but I think he's so driven right now and I think his physique looks better than ever I mean, look at his most muscular, look at the chest creation like, was it ever like this at 6 weeks out? I don't think so, I don't remember that way I think he is going to be at his absolute most shredded ever And he is the defending champion, he needs to win the Arnold He doesn't want to be second And he's competing against Hari He knows Hari is coming in shredded, peeled, for sure And the biggest criticism that Samson received from the judges and basically everybody else was conditioning and these guys spoke about this, I mean Samson and Milos both and they are really focused on bringing Samson peeled, finally, for once, shredded and with his mass and with a little bit more improvements this physique peeled, it's gonna be really hard to beat it I mean it's really hard to imagine it because we haven't seen it yet so we don't even know if it is possible maybe his, let's say, Arnold Classic 2023 version was the best conditioning he's ever going to bring on stage maybe but I believe, I believe he definitely has more room he can push things he never forced cardio I don't think he was ever really that focused on being as shredded as possible on being the most shredded guy on stage that was never the focus and Milos also, his coach, doesn't believe that conditioning necessarily wins shows it is a lot more about the size, the shape, the roundness, the, the symmetry, the proportions but at this point he has all of that and to reach the top he needs more conditioning so they decided to focus on that and if Samson is looking like this at 6 weeks out I believe in 6 more weeks he is going to be like seriously peeled and that version is going to be really hard to beat right now as I said it's, it's really hard to imagine it because you haven't seen it but if you do imagine it, if you put everything on paper if he remains this big and full and round and everything but is just simply harder, more conditioned then yeah, I don't think Hari can beat him, but that's a big if in 6 weeks we'll find out if Samson is gonna do that but to me, this looks promising alright, next we got a little sneak peek of Nexilla at 8 weeks out of the Iron Classic UK as you guys know, he's probably most likely not doing Ohio 
Maybe he jumps in, but it seems like it's not gonna happen. So we got this uh, little snippet, this physique update, and uh, yeah, I mean, he's not as conditioned as the other guys like Hari and Samson, but again, he's eight weeks out. And I'm pretty sure in eight weeks from now, he can be in the same condition he was at Prague Pro, which I think was solid conditioning, it was good, if he was more shredded, if he was leaner, with the same shape and size and fullness, he would look more impressive, of course, he could have been more shredded, but he was good enough, and I think in 8 weeks, he can bring that same level of conditioning, if this is his uh, starting point, and he actually celebrated his birthday yesterday, I believe he turned 29, which is insane by itself, considering how big he is, now, I gotta ask you guys a question, do you think Nexilla can win the Arnold Classic UK? I know, it's a bold question, but at this point I feel like people are divided into two groups. One group believes that Nexilla is like the next Ronnie Coleman, like the freakiest thing ever, one of the most freakiest bodybuilders of all time, that he's that big, that good, and then there is the other group that says that he's basically almost all hype, for example, Michael Kreiser, right here in the photo, who competed against Nexilla and beat him at Prague Pro, says that he isn't really that good, that he has a lot of muscle, like, especially in the legs and the neck, but he is not very complete, very balanced, very symmetrical, or conditioned enough, so he doesn't think Nexilla is as good, he thinks that he's all hype. Samson Dauda, who is in this photo, who won this show, also says that Nexilla is not that good, that Krizio is way better. Maybe you heard Frank McGrath not buying into the hype, maybe you heard Milo Sharchev as well saying the same things, basically, I personally do believe that Nexilla is actually as good as he is hyped. I believe that this size, this volume, this much muscle, just simply cannot be ignored. If it is combined with solid conditioning, fine conditioning, it's gonna be really hard to ignore this guy, and I think he needs some time to prove himself, I mean, Prague Pro was his pro debut, I think it might take him some time, you know, to climb through the ranks, because he needs to prove himself worthy of being a top pro who wins shows, I think he needs to pay his dues by competing more often, but him being as big, as impressive as he is, maybe second show is gonna be soon enough, if he comes in a little bit improved at the Arnold UK, a little bit sharper maybe, then I believe he has a chance of actually battling against the top guys, like Hardy, like Samson. Steve Weinberger literally said that he wasn't this impressed since he saw Big Grammy for the first time. So that tells you a lot. You guys are welcome to agree or disagree with me. Whatever you think, just tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, now we got a little physique update from Joseph Benya, by the way, I didn't do him any favor putting him here after, after Nexilla, but yeah, this is his physique right now, this guy is, uh, by the way, if you don't know, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, and he has been kind of known to fitness industry for a while now, and it's been some time since we saw a physique update from this guy, so he posted a couple of photos, and we can take a look at his physique, and you know, it's obvious that he still didn't hop on right, like, he's still natural, and, I mean, that's, that's cool, that's, that's great, I don't want to encourage anybody to, to hop on, but, as you can see, you know, I mean, the biceps are there, you can see Arnold's biceps, I guess the chest is also resembling uh, Arnold's chest, and also a little bit wider waist with not super round shoulders, right, so he has resemblance of his father, you can see it right here as well in the rib cage. so he is starting to look more like Arnold, but, I mean, even though he should stay natural for as long as he can, man, I still would like to see what this guy could do if he actually tried hard, if he competed in bodybuilding. Take a look at this most muscular shot, so, you know, I, I would like to see this guy compete in classic physique, but no, obviously he couldn't do it uh, like this, naturally. I mean, maybe he could do something, he could look better if this uh, look is obtained by not trying hard at all, like lifting a little bit here and there, not having a strict diet and stuff like that, so if that's the case, then sure, but still, like, I would like to see this guy at his full potential, you know. It's his decision, I don't want to encourage anybody to do something like that, but, you know, as a fan, 
As a fan of bodybuilding, I'm sure all of you guys feel the same. We would all love to see Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, you know, competing and trying really hard to look his absolute best. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be really cool, but... This is what we get, this is what he looks like right now. You guys tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think about him and his physique, or whichever part of this video you guys found interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you didn't subscribe to this channel, guys, please help me reach 50k subscribers, it would mean a lot to me. Once again, guys, thank you so much, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.